The Rebbe very rarely uh, used the car, he, he always walked. So one time I remember that the Rebbe went to the oil and he went to the dead, he went to the oil, he would visit many times on a day which was not a uh, regular day to go to the oil and something like that would come and he went to the oil, he decided this day I'm going to the oil. I remember one time Rebbe came to 770 and he, he was, we came early, but before the morning, I think it's eight o'clock in the morning. And he went into his room. Then he uh, and came out, came in his room, and right outside his room, I said, his room, he met um, one of the Bachrim, and I do remember who it was. And the Rebbe said to him, I want to go to the mikvah. I want to go to the mikvah. He said, could you please call the mikvah up? Now, actually, Rebbe had a telephone in his office. He did not invite the Bachrim to come to his office to make the call. He said, uh, we had, there was a public phone on the wall on, on 770. He said, um, I uh, want you to call up the mikveh to ask if they're open. And it was Lema Minkowitz, Lema Minkowitz who was, who was there. And he said to Lema, um, uh, Lema, uh, he didn't know from nothing. I mean, he can't be queer, he didn't, he, you know, he didn't know the house, supposed to, how's he supposed to know um, the uh, telephone number? <laughs> you know, whoever knew everything, whoever gave told what to do. He said, call 411, whatever, he had to pay money and he had to pay a quarter for it, or maybe not. He said, and ask for, you want to know the telephone number, the ritualarium. Ask for a ritualarium on, uh, on uh, whatever it is, on, uh, on uh, Union Street. And so I uh, went to the mikveh. And uh, there are many times when uh, they went to the mikveh. And now I'm <laughs> thinking in my mind, what was I telling you? Uh, I got off the subject. The Rebbe. Um, would go to the mikveh every time. No, the devil remember. was going to the oil. You said the devil was going, was to, going the to the oil. oil. Yeah, 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 yeah. He was going to the oil. And, uh, he went to the oh, 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 yeah. So many times he would go. Not on the oil day was um, was on ever shchidish. It's out of the middle of the month, whatever it is. Anyway, so one time he went to the oil, and he came back, and of course Rebbe never ate till he got home. Went to daven mincha. He daven mincha. And then um, he went, he was, he was in the car, because he went, he went, when he went, he, had, he was in the car, and he came out, and he decided to go visit his mother. He thought this would be a good time, and maybe he wasn't coming back later. He said, for some reason, and I don't begin to remember why, I can't begin to remember why. I don't know if I knew the Rebbe was going to go to the, his mother. <clears throat> Even if I would know he was going to visit his mother, I would not have had reason to go over there, because he went to visit his mother every day. I never went there. But for whatever reason in the world, I went over there right after Mincha, and the Rebbe went in his way. Rabbi Kresge took me in the car. They drove to, uh, uh, they went, went around, you know, he went up because uh, the uh, president is the wrong way, uh, it was towards King, Kingston, and he went up, uh, threw it up, you asked for, I don't know, and he came, he came down president. I think, am I right in that? And he was face, his car was facing the Kingston Avenue. And the Rebbe yeah. was sitting outside. It was a very warm day. And all of the Friedman children were cluttered around her. Well, they were, I think it was a Friedman children. A bunch of kids. She was sitting outside on a, on a, on a bench outside her, her house. Outside her house. And uh, the kids, she was talking to the children. You know, I mean, you're talking about what kind of person was she. She was talking to the kids. The kids were talking to her. You know, she was, you know, very kind, very good to them. When the kids, when they saw the river, everybody ran away and she was sitting there by herself. You know, I think she came from the other side. Now I'm thinking about it now, which way is president? It doesn't make a difference. I don't know. I think maybe he turned, I don't I don't remember. Maybe at that time they, they didn't have the two, I don't know, whatever it was. Okay. The river got out of his car and he started to walk towards his mother. And I was standing right there. there. And the Rebbitson, Rebbitson Hannah, saw him coming and she looked at him and she called him by his first name and she said to him, <laughs> go, go home. Go home. Go home. Go home. She said, she called by his first name, go home. And he looked at her and he was startled. Why? And he said to her, I don't, I don't want to say Yiddish, I don't know exactly what you said. Why are you telling me to go home? So she said to him, You have not eaten today. So he looked at his mother 
And he says, how do you know that I have not eaten? How do you know I haven't eaten today? So she said to him, because you are at the oil. So then he said to his mother, how do you know I was by the oil? He said, so she laughed and she pointed to Yulul Krinsky. She says, Krinsky state dog, Krinsky is here. The only way he would be coming by car is if Krinsky had taken him to the, had taken, it, had taken him over to the oil. Otherwise he would have walked home. The fact that she had Krinsky was there, he came by car, meant that Krinsky had taken him to the oil because he never used a car or <laughs> anything else. So he looked at his mother and she looked at him and she, he, the Rebbe burst out laughing because it was very really funny. And she burst out laughing. And the little Krinsky burst out laughing. And everybody was laughing there. And it was such a beautiful, beautiful scene. The Rebbe is standing there near his mother. And his mother is treating him like a little baby, not a little baby. Go home. Go, go home right away. You haven't eaten yet. Yeah, what, do you mean? what are you standing around? You've got to eat today. And that first one, what does the mother think about for the child? And it was such a beautiful a, a vision was a, of mother and mother and child and mother, the child happens to be the Labavitcher Rebbe who was the most renowned rabbi in the entire world. But for his mother, it's my kid, my kid. Story. What? For that mother, is a beautiful story. It's my, for the, for the, of the whole world, he's the Labavitcher Rebbe, you know, for his mother, he's my son and he's got to eat with our first one, that's the first thing. You know? It's oh, interesting. Yeah. I was once. Oh. I was one. I was once. One second. One, one second. One second. Before you go on, just to, just to just to be a, a nitpick, you said that the Rebbeson called him by his first name, but I'm sure you mean that she called him by his second name. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Go on. Tell me what you were just yeah. going to say. Yes, yes, yes. I know what you mean. Yeah. I mean by his first name meant, you know. I mean, right. I'm, right. 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 You couldn't right. call him Rabbi Shniz or anything. She, right. I mean, okay. yeah. Yeah. Rabbi Zalingol, yeah. that story that you just told about the Rebbe and his mother was worth this whole interview was worth that story that okay, is so, a precious so can, story. I, can i go now <laughs> no you cannot go anywhere that's a precious we story where we are that, 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 that was a beautiful story that was a really beautiful story it was a, and i want to congratulate you for letting for knowing to be in the right place at the right time that's also i don't i don't know i don't know how i got there but i remember seeing it because it was such a beautiful scene and she was so she's you know like the way she said it, of our kids, is that you can't fool your mother. <laughs> you can fool <laughs> other great. people. But you can't fool your mother. <laughs> I know what's going on. <laughs> That's a beautiful story. But tired, tired, and What? That's a beautiful story. 